friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a totally unedited recording of fecal calcification by cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis few drops of povidone iodine 5% is instilled over the ocular surface and the ocular surface is thoroughly irrigated with bss or ringolactate this is a very important step please don't neglect this step now the main incision is made with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at around 10:30 o'clock or 11 o'clock and a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about two and a half to three o'clock hours away and in this case only one side port has been made an air bubble is then injected and beneath this air bubble tripan blue 0.06 percent dye is applied over the capsule in such a way that the dye touches on all parts of the capsule and now the dye is washed out there may be some particulate matter in the dye which should come out and now 2% SPMC that is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is used to fill up the anterior chamber and the SPMC is applied over the cornea for better visibility and it protects the corneal epithelium very nicely and now orexis with uterita forceps the anterior capsule is scratched and a capsular tag is raised this capsular tag is healed with the uterita and I go anticlockwise to do the axis. The capsular tag is guided in such a way that it is at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated pupil, and thus I get a fairly round axis. And now hydro dissection is done with a 27 Gauss cannula, and PSS is injected just under the anterior capsular rim. The fluid wave go should go from one side to the opposite side and the nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated. Visco is injected again and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO needle. The machine being used is Oatly Catarex 3. It's a nice machine with pneumatic cutter, offers 1200 cards per minute. The tip goes bevel down, some superficial cortical lens matter is removed, nucleus is rotated nicely and now the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus, goes through the nucleus for a distance and the nucleus is held very firmly and the nucleus is chopped. The nucleus is rotated 180 degree and the two heminuclei are completely separated. I call this technique submarine chop. Now each heminucleus is being divided into three fragments in this case. One fragment has been done and this is other two fragments. And now the three nuclear fragments are being emulsified using ultrasonic energy which is 70 percent in this case and flow rate is 45 ml per minute vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury and see what I have done I came out and without injecting visco I am going in again beginners should not do this you may touch the corneal endothelium but what precaution I did is I formed the anterior chamber uh, right after entering and then I advanced forward but please form the anterior chamber nicely and then you introduce the phaco needle again. This is the last nuclear fragment. At this time, we can decrease the vacuum, but in this case, it was nece not necessary. Antichamber is very nicely formed. There is no trampolining of the posterior capsule, and it is almost done. Nucleus has been managed. Little bit of visco is injected to keep the SE formed while the cortex is aspirated. 
A 23 gauge Simco cannula is being used to remove the cortex and the cortex came out very fast in this case. The sub-incisional cortex can be removed through the side port because the size of the side port is little larger. It is 1.6 to 1.7 millimeter in this case so that a 23 goes Simco can go in but there is only one side port if we use bimanual irrigation aspiration we are going to use two side ports one millimeter each or 1.25 1.2 millimeter each but in this case we are doing only one side port and now is the time to in implant an intraocular lens in this case a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens has been selected and I'm going to use a B cartridge for that. I enlarge the main incision a little bit and this is hydro implantation of the hydrophilic single piece intraocular lens. Just by a push of the left hand instrument the lens goes in the capsula bag and this is done. There is no visco in the anterior chamber or in the capsular bag th so the surgery is almost done. This is a bit of moxifloxacin and now the single side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of this stab incision. And then a final lavage is done. At this time watch that some visco will come out here it is some visco which was sticking to the corneal endothelium came out i directed a gentle stream towards the endothelium through the aspirating port just flashed out some vss and the visco sticking to the corneal endothelium came out and now the anterior chamber is nicely formed in this way the integrity of the wounds are checked by a cotton tipped Janssen bard and the case is concluded. Please do not neglect the first step. After instilling few drops of 5% povidon iodine, irrigate the ocular surface thoroughly with VSS or ringolactate and then start surgery. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.